Hey, my name is George. If you're just joining us, we had a house fire. Everyone's fine. But with that, we lost all our meat last year. All of the deer, all the wild game that I had gotten last year and saved up for the winter and the whole year to feed the family. And so this year is a big year for us. We need to get a cheap fridge. We need to get as much meat as possible to sustain us throughout the whole year. That being said, I do process it all myself and I age my meat in a refrigerator. And the way I do that is get a cheap fridge, clean it all out, and I'll show you what you do next. Okay, so I kind of already started, but what you want is a few places to tie a piece of rope to. So for instance, here in this old fridge, I took out all the shelving, plenty of space, top to bottom, and I took out everything on here, you know, that I could. And now you get some 550 cord or paracord, and you tie it off to a spot in the back. The next thing you're going to want to do is put a few knots along the way. So I just take this every three, four inches, put a couple knots, and what you're going to want to do is make an X. And you can do this a number of different ways. I just make an X because I had the room for it. But, all right, take this and we tie it off. There we go. So now you have a way to hang meat. But the next thing is, how do you tie it off to here? So you want to go to your local tackle shop and pick up a couple of uh, <laughs> circle hooks, about seven knot or bigger, with leaders on them. I used to use steel leaders. You can use those if you want. What you're going to want to do is, the reason we have these knots is so meat won't slide back and forth. And all you want to do is just take this. Wrap it around, make sure it stays high, and there you go. So the neat thing about this is you can just take your quarters, or however you process your meat, and just take it, hang it on that hook, and the hook's going to hold it. The power cord's definitely going to hold it, because it's rated for, this This one's not 550, it's actually 100 pounds, but it'll definitely hold um, all four quarters of deer meat. And. Uh, I put my back straps in here. I hang everything for about a week and hopefully I'll be getting one here pretty soon. I can show you exactly how I hang it in there. So you want to be really careful when you're placing your meat on one of these hooks and you're going to see why here in a second. Any additional cuts, I'll usually just throw them in the grinder straight away and I won't hang them, but if you have enough room in your fridge, you can definitely do that.